Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 94. I'm Ryan Thogmart and that is Jeff the Funeral Commander Harbison. And Jeff, we are back. You are in the cigar bar lounge slash whatever. I don't think that people realize that you and I are almost always three hours apart, two hours apart, four hours apart, depending on where we're at. And then if we're in mm-hmm. daylight savings time or not or whatever. But it's 10 o'clock in the morning where you are, we're recording this, you're smoking and drinking. It's, it's just straight phenomenal. Well, I'll share with you that uh, today, it's kind of a big day for me, tomorrow especially. This is Friday the 10th. But this is Veterans Weekend. And here at my cigar place, Don Cigar in Phoenix, we actually do a fundraiser where uh, the guys come in, we cook food, and we raise money for cigars for warriors. And basically... We send anywhere from 500 to 1,000 cigars overseas to guys. So they, we're just saying, thank you, have a cigar on us. Nice. So today's our event, and I'm really excited because, again, Veterans Day is always special to me. And In fact, I have a guest today. Did you, this is an unannounced guest. Okay. Um, this is a big deal. So um, hold on just a second. I'm going to get you to share a headphone. So this is... The captain's the commander's sister. How about that? How about that? Yeah, yeah. She's visiting with me here in Phoenix. Let me tell you about our family really quickly. Our father is a veteran. Um, I'm a veteran, her brother. Her husband's a veteran. We have a brother in law who's a veteran, and we both have sons that are veterans. Fantastic. So Very that's proud. it's thank a big you. day. Super proud. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And so we'll, um, we're going to celebrate today uh, via Uber. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby sister. They you do know? it right, though. Huh? That's right. We're yes. doing it right. That's right. They got couches. We'll take them out. But anyway, say hello to my baby sisters. Hi, guys. <laughs> All Thanks. Thanks, baby. Anyway, and also, uh, this is special to all the veterans out there. Um, from me and uh, my company. In fact, Ryan, in a few moments, if you'll roll that video we made for our veterans, I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. But thank you guys for what you do and women. Um, y'all are the ones that uh, help us be free. Jeff, thank you for your service. Uh, We appreciate it. Thank you to all the veterans. And the funeral profession has a lot of veterans in in our industry. They do. Uh, So thank you to everybody. And uh, as we're talking about service, we've got a great sponsor, title sponsor of this this show, the Funeral Nation show with C&J Financial and the Fast Funny Group. So let's roll that promo. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With C&J Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. 
All right, Jeff. So we wanted to jam a little bit today about the NFTA convention. Um, and I don't, you, this, this was a weird convention for me because you and I literally spent maybe 45 seconds together in each other's presence chatting. Like we are typically roaming the floor together, getting live video, doing a lot of different crazy things as a duo. And this convention for us uh, in Disrupt Media was unbelievable. The traffic was constant. I literally left the booth to go from our booth to the social media lounge each day to do a Facebook Live and then back down the booth and that was it. I didn't leave the booth otherwise. So it was uh, absolutely different, a different type of show. Good show, but different. Yeah, I agree with you. Our booth was the same thing. Um, we were at the bottom of this, the escalator coming down. And that first day opening, I actually held a bag for an hour and a half. I couldn't put it down because people were coming up and talking with us. But uh, you're right. I think this is a really good expo. And I like the direction that we're heading as an industry. Yeah. Because th this expo is all about technology. Yep. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, it drip technology. It didn't. I mean, I didn't have to leave the booth to figure that out as you just look around the floor. A lot of technology. I mean, Funeral One, 16 foot by 10 foot video wall. Um, it, yeah, technology was a, a huge conversation. Um, right. Social media lounge, um, even NFDA's campfire sessions. Um, when I looked at who was speaking in the campfire sessions, uh, you had a lot of people talking about technology. You had Joey from Funeral One. You had Dean talking about technology from Homesteaders. You know, there, a lot of the conversation was around technology. You know, you're right about the technology dripping. It was interesting that uh, there's booths upon booths, and people are talking. They're looking for. They're looking for apps. They're looking for how to make their business better. Yeah. Uh, the home run to me, I think, was again the guys at Sitch. That drum and five core coming in and then coming over there and said, there's a revolution coming Yeah, and it's a casket. That was, uh, those guys are leading the charge and what a home run. I went to his booth a couple of times. In fact, we did a promo with him yeah. and, uh, serious Chan and those six folks, they're making impact. It's happening. Yeah. It was incredible. In fact, don't we have a promo with those guys? We sure do. Let's roll it. Funeral nation is sponsored by Sitch casket. Sitch has changed everything for funeral homes facing declining profits from cremation, with casket quality equal to the top domestic brands, but at half the cost or better. Enter now to win a free Sitch casket at sitchcasket.com. Sitch, only your accountant can tell the difference. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was phenomenal. Um, you know, I, I lied a little bit. I did get to leave the booth for about two minutes. We went over to Pierce Chemicals booth when they did the gold-plated duotronic giveaway um which mm -hmm. was which was pretty cool there was a large crowd for that um and you know as you know stitch has been a great sponsor of this show or i'm sorry pierce has been a great sponsor of this show and uh it was really cool you and i got to be involved in that we donated five tickets uh the five effing tickets were all you had to do was walk up to the pierce booth and say give me my effing ticket those five tickets were gone within the first 15 minutes of the show opening at noon on Monday. Social media, baby. Pierce is in the Bomber's Choice for fluids and over 1,800 different prep room supplies in stock. Visit us at piercechemical.com to learn more about Pierce. I'm just telling you. And look, our funeral nation is growing. I didn't walk 10 or 12 steps somewhere or somewhere, and they were going, gosh, we love your show. And we are grateful that we have the opportunity to be a voice for our industry and leading voice. Yeah. And, you know, it's what's funny to me is that the dem demog demographics, yeah, demographics of who comes up and talks about it. I've got obviously some young folks, they enjoy it. But I, I, I had a guy that is really senior, an older guy. Said, oh, we love it. You know, way to go. I watch that every week. Um, something else that was pretty cool was the um the foundation i have to tell you i participated in their golf tournament by the way did you know i had a chance of making 10 grand for a 50 foot butt did you miss it i don't have 10 grand yeah that's a bummer man yeah you know you know how many cigars and stuff that can buy me but uh, i did leave it rum. short 
It's a lot of run. You didn't leave yeah. <laughs> But I, I do want to give a shout out to the foundation that they do a wonderful job in raising money and uh, they're good people. That's part of our business, you know, and, and the talk of a lifetime and all the things that we're working together with. I foresee, in fact, I have to write an article, the state of the, uh, the industry soon. I believe this, we're going to look back at Boston and see this is one of the turning points for our, our industry. What do you think? I think you could be right on. I mean, this was an absolute different funeral expo experience with Boston. Um, you know, the attendance seemed like it was very high. There was a lot of, um, there were a lot more owners that we got to talk to, which we typically mm -hmm. are not seeing a lot of owners as much. Um, so I think that was a key difference that we saw. Booze are getting bigger. They're becoming more grandiose. Uh, life celebrations uh -huh. had a, a they, almost full size funeral home chapel as their booth. That was, was awesome. Pretty amazing. Um, you know, our booth is doubled. Your booth is doubled in size. It just, Yours was awesome, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah, we we went kind of on the extreme with a graffiti painted booth. That was pretty phenomenal. But you know, it's but you just, know what, Ryan? Why fit in where you can stand out? You know, yeah. it's sort of like. Um, wearing an ascot with a smoking jacket to a party. That's right. You did that. You were <laughs> a kite, yeah. baby. So, I mean, it, it, yeah. was, it was great. There was just a lot of good things that happened. And, you know, typically you and I walk away from a, from an NFDA convention and say, man, this could have been different. That could have been different. I feel like the from the expo side, I didn't get to go to a lot of the keynotes. I didn't get to go to any of the, the breakout rooms. Um, the only thing that we had, we attended afterwards, uh, after hours, was the the Steve Lang, Steve Schaefer, um, mm -hmm. incoming and outgoing party that the homesteaders put together, which was a very nice cocktail reception. So, I mean, just a lot of things going on. It's it's amazing to me how we save like a year worth of conversations and try to cram them into like a three day convention when. I had five meetings that we set up prior to, to NFDA to meet mm -hmm. at NFDA when I said, you know, we can just do this right now online and, and, you know, free up a little bit of time. But I, I just, it, I don't know. I, funeral directors are hungry for some change and yes, they're the ones slowing the process on how quickly we change. But I think mm -hmm. it's come to the point now where they're fully reliant on vendors to be the one and suppliers to be the ones that are absolutely pushing and making them have to change before it, there was a, there was a, I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling on, but there was a big diff, a notice Stiff arm. from, from yeah. me this year where I think in years past, we've been waiting as from the supplier side to get, to get funeral homes where we want them to be. And this year it seemed like, all right, screw it. We're going to start pushing and demanding that they get where we want to be, which I think is a great pivot. Right. And, you know, I did get to attend some of the workshops and see out there. One of the things I was a little disappointed on that, you know, it's a big issue and we have declining profits in our business. Mm -hmm. OK, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. And that's something I think we're going to need to focus on in the future. But, you know, when you go back to the technology, by the way, I was next to uh, aftercare.com. Ellery, mm -hmm. the, that guy is knocking it down. I mean, what a wonderful uh, program he has. In fact, let's go ahead and run his promotion. Are you a funeral director who just can't find time to follow up with your families? We all know how important aftercare is, but meeting with families and running a funeral home doesn't leave much time for anything else. The aftercare card program is an automated program that sends out four cards plus a survey to your families during the first year following a loss. You simply go to aftercare.com and enroll your family and you're done. It literally takes about a minute and the cost is only $20 per family. Visit aftercare.com today to learn more and get a free sample. Yeah, El Ellery's jamming away. I, I saw him in our hotel lobby. We stayed in the same hotel and spent 45 minutes with him just jamming about what they're doing, what they're seeing, trends in the marketplace around aftercare and, you know, different just different ways to communicate with funeral homes and funeral homes can communicate with consumers. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. All right, so... Uh, let's talk about what what this ain't going to make it this time, and and maybe not specific names because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings here. Sure, sure. But I saw some stuff. I saw some mighty down faces uh, in booths. That hey, guess what? By the way, I'm I'm going to take a step back. The bamboo urn was kind of cool. It was cool. 
It was cool. I'll, I'll get yep. bamboo I'll guys. I, I'll give it to you. Y'all did a good job there. But everything else, man, it, it was a drag uh, it, from that perspective. I mean, I saw, I went by and I can see there's just empty, empty spaces and empty face. But um, I, I think technology, if this industry, uh, this is a defining moment in our business that if you're not, uh, with a fresh website, if your website is more than three years old, it ain't worth a crap. Yeah. Okay. If you got a free website, it's not worth anything. You're not doing anything. And by the way, if you own a website as a funeral home and you don't have your picture and your staff's picture and a bio on there, what are you doing? You're the brand out here, right? I mean, you and I, I believe, are, can be testaments of what building a personal yeah. brand is all about, and it works. For sure. I can't tell you this this week. I, I went on several websites just from my business side, and I was looking and talking to the guys, and I would ask the owner, where is your picture? Does your community not know who works there, what you're doing? So we, we are, we're advancing, but we sure have a long way to go just yet. We sure do. We're getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. But this was an absolute step in the right direction. Uh, it really was a big. This this convention stands out among twelve years. I've been going to funeral conventions at least multiple years. So and I speak at twenty different state shows a year. Like this was a big turning point. I think that the ship is starting to. The captain's directing the wheel. Uh, in, in setting the sails in another direction, which is, which is good. Yeah. Um, I had a chance to visit with our friends from Skyways media. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, I was fascinated how these guys have worked really hard and they entered into the market with their brand and they were another packed booth. You know, it's interesting. Um, the folks that are sponsoring and working with us, right. Jamie and his team at CNJ aftercare, the Pierce booth, the Skyways booth. I mean, these guys are knocking it out. In yeah. fact, let's go ahead and run their promo for Skyways. Skyways Media is a family owned and operated business specializing in the design and print of funeral planning guides throughout the USA and Canada. Our guides are written individually for your home and are an excellent community information resource along with acting as a high class marketing tool for your business. The best part is that they are provided at zero cost to the funeral home. It's definitely a, di a different product, and uh, our, our boy Jack could not be at, at NFDA, which was a bummer, so we didn't get to see him, but we saw his comrades, and uh, they were they were busy talking the whole time, man. <laughs> yeah, I had a chance to meet with Harry. In fact, Harry did a little promo for the funeral commander. I was like, oh, good show. I love it when you say it that way. It's so awesome. <laughs> but, uh, you know, next year, uh, our venue I'm, I'm a little concerned about, okay? And I'm going to reserve comment because it's a tough drive in, mm -hmm. but I, I predict for 2018 um, that we're going to head into the technology era. And, and Ryan, you're a wonderful speaker. Uh, you and I have been together uh, since Charlotte, right? Sure. We had that meeting and you've built your brand and stuck true to who you are. And I think we're starting to see the tide turn, but you're, you, you had a, a phrase that if you're not doing this, you lose. Yeah. Folks, it's a new industry. If you're not using technology, if you, you, you lose. If you're not paying attention to your profit, you lose. Things are changing. And so I believe that we're going to have the, the, um, the early adopters, which I believe are about 15 to 20% of our industry, are going to continue to flourish and do well. Yeah. And then we're going to have another 40% that once the early adopters start in, they're going to follow them. And then we're going to have another 15 to 20 that they'll kind of lag along. And then we're going to have the bottom group that has no freaking clue what they're doing. And they're, they're closing. I, I, I'll share with you from my, my business at Foresight, we're seeing businesses closing, not our clients, <laughs> but folks that are calling up, I want to sell. Well, you don't have anything to sell and you don't have anywhere to go. So it's a new era. It's time to wake up. Yep, for sure. So uh, we've got one more amazing sponsor that makes this show possible, right? United Community Bank. And uh, let's roll that. Let's program. roll them. Shifting trends in family choices. 
expanding corporate ownership, rising costs. The funeral and death care industry is changing with each new year. At United Community Bank, our team of funeral and death care lending specialists understand the need for capital, for acquisitions, expansions, renovations, equipment upgrades, and more. And we make the loan application process as quick and easy as possible. We really are a community bank at heart, and we really are the bank that service built. We do have many products that are specifically designed for small business, and that really is a big focus of the bank. And that's an area that we want to continue to focus on, that we bring these unique solutions to small businesses. United Community Bank has the industry knowledge, resources, and the team in place to help make your goals a reality. Awesome, Commander. Well, another NFDA in the books, another just, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, this is our, our third NFDA show that, that we've had since we've had the, the Funeral Nation show. The first one was after episode three when we kicked this off, so 91 episodes ago. Um, it's amazing how far we've come, but just, you, you said it earlier, the brand that has been established with Funeral Nation is, is unreal. We're just making a lot of impact, a lot of connections. Um, you know, the idea is that we want people to be uncomfortable when they listen to this show. Because uh, if they're uncomfortable, then they're, they're looking inward and, and realizing that what we're saying is true. And they've got to change mm -hmm. and they've got to be a little bit uncomfortable to get that change ha to happen. So uh, I'm excited to see where we're going to go over the next year and, uh, you know, where NFDA takes us next year. Well, it's funny. I, I have a little saying. It's actually up on my walls. I'm not going to tell you to go to hell. I'm going to tell you the truth and it feels like hell. Yeah. And I, I think for our business and what we're doing, where we're going, the folks that realize that's the truth, let's, let's, you know what? The king doesn't have any clothes on. Let's talk and let's engage together to make this better. Yeah. Don't be scared of cremation. Don't be scared of technology. We have a wonderful opportunity ahead of us. And we have some really, really good um, millennials and young folks coming to this business. I'm excited. I, I get rejuvenated seeing uh, transfers of business for the folks that are coming up. And they're not running it like mom and dad did. They're no, doing a great job. Not at all. Yep. And mom and dad did a great job, but I mean, they're, they're embracing technology. Right. They're paying attention to the math. They know, you know, how to work spreadsheets and I'm excited. Um, before we take off, we have an exciting next week, don't we? we sure um, do. I'm not going to say who our two big superlatives are, but we've got some major hitters that are going to be interviewed by us next week. They're literally change makers. So I think we might make that a little bit of a change maker episode. What do you think? I think it'd be fantastic. They got going on. That's it. Well, Ryan, um, uh, by the way, shout out to my two favorite little girls. Yeah, right? Thank you. They are awesome. I, your family at the booth, um, you couldn't pay anybody to be there. No. It's, any more it's been good. enthused. I love those girls. The girls, you know, uh, Uncle Commander says hello. And nobody messes with those two girls. You got to come through me first, right? <laughs> Thank you. Sir. And your beautiful wife. She, y'all just are a wonderful family. And your dad being there. So yeah. you know, it's interesting. It's family run business that we have. Yeah, it is. It's pretty wild. But thank. All you, right. Sir. So we're going to sign off, and uh, I can tell you that my sister and I. This is an Uber day. <laughs> Not a fantastic, but an Uber day. And uh, thank, thank you for allowing me to start off my day at ten o'clock in the morning You're welcome. with a libation. A cigar, because I, I can consider this paradise. <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, have a great effing week. Out here. Thank you for your service out there, guys. <laughs>